Hello everyone, my name is Alshon94, welcome to something a little bit different on this channel. What we're doing for you today is playing through Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PS1. And the reason I'm playing this game is because I want to play through some of the games that I used to love playing as a child. So as well as the newer gameplay stuff like Detroit Become Human, I'm going to be playing through some older games such as Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets to to begin with and then as the time goes on later on in the year I'll be playing more and more of those older games. Now, if you like that idea hit that like button down, down below don't forget to subscribe and let's get in to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Here we go ladies and gentlemen this is the beginning of something very beautiful. What I'm also going to be trying to do in this game is to 100% the game. Something that I've never actually done before but I think that means all the, the red, the yellow, the green and the blue beans as well as all 17 Wizards cards. Something that I've never done before, as I said, but this is a game that you couldn't go back and collect the remaining cards on. You could only do that in the second Harry Potter game for the PS1. But, without further ado, let's begin a new game, and let's go. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Man, those scenes, iconic. Iconic. Oh, it was a little bit patchy, but I'm apologising in advance for any patches in this. There though, Albus Dumbledore. Let's go. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer the most. Painful death. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so as you can see, everything currently is locked away apart from the portrait room because we don't have any beans at all to start with, so there's no point in going through there. Um, as you can see here, 17 witches and wizards cards, 50 yellow beans, 70 blue beans, 80 green, and 100 red. No house points on the clock just yet. Four spells to learn. Uh, weirdly, the spells match the beans, but I think that's down to the areas that they're, they're in. I'm super excited to get back into this game. Let's try and see if we can 100% this game. Now, I think I'm not going to go and speak to friend George just yet. It's everywhere locked anyway. It is locked, so we'll ignore that. Let's mosey on down and see what they have in store for us. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. 
If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. Gotcha, gotcha. See you around, Harry. Okay, and this is also back in an era where secret passageways were a thing. They were like a like a proper full-on thing. Like, easy recognisable, but a change in the colour of the wall or a thinner bookshelf. Merlin. Good cut to start off on. That takes our total to one. 16 more cards left to go. Oh, we can't. Our wand obviously doesn't work at the moment. You also had this ghost that like followed you around to like show you the way. Hey Harry! Remember me? Ron Weasley? That slimy slither in Draco Malfoy? Ran through this door with an owl under his arm. Correct. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Right, this is where we learn like, the basics of the game, the, the the core mechanics, the functions, how to jump, uh, all of that. Oh man, this is, this is such a great game. Come on, Harry, let's find Hedwig. Well, 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 if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? Brutal. Absolutely brutal from Malfoy. He's a nasty piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. <sighs> Come on, Harry, follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. Right, okay, so huh? that's nailed already. Let's so, go. Right. What I found weird as well is that they've huh? they've just joined, uh. apparently, but they're already wearing Follow me! Like their Christmas jumpers. Mm. So Ron's already wearing like the arm. To jump, jumper. just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. Mm. So few polygons. Here. But yeah, it doesn't matter. There we go. Ah, that's the last feather. Nice, nailed it. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Okay. I also like used to do this challenge where I could see, can I, how far from the top of this room can I reach before the music ends? I remember, I think I could never do it. I think the music always ends just before you get to the top ledge. Yeah, see, only just, just finished as you get there. Nice, good job. Ah, some snails have escaped from a Care of Magical Creatures class. Careful, they are dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Fipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. And just like that, no, 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 no classes to learn that spell. We just learn it just from being told about it. Nice. First five points on the mark. So as I mentioned, this is going to be the first of a couple of games coming out on this channel. Um, so as I mentioned, there was Harry Potter, Chamber of Stone, Chamber of Secrets. Uh, there will also be Scooby Doo: The Cyber Chase. You can use your L2 and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. Nice. Uh, there's also going to be Robo Pit 2 coming as well, and Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. Press the triangle button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a Flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to Flipendo in this room. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. So let's jump up on here because <gasps> if I do this, <laughs> doink. So there's already some more points coming our way. Yep. So that's taking care of those two things. Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? Things that twinkle can be affected by a flippendo knockback jinx. This is a jinx block. Your flippendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast a flippendo at it. Oh yeah, then he gleefully, gleefully skips away. There we go. When it closes like that, it means it's locked into place. See there, the Hufflepuff, what, the Huff Hufflepuff? Yeah, it is, right? Hufflepuff, Badger, uh, Tom. Interestingly, whenever I did a Pottermore or a Harry Potter quiz, it always came out as Hufflepuff. I've never actually been anything else. It's, it's, it's always been Hufflepuff. Mysterious figure looms. Well, you've made it this far. Now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flippendo knockback jinx to move it. To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. Well, that post like so disgusting about it. Flippendo! Take a look at this. Flippendo! What is that high pitch noise? There we go. Interestingly as well, it's a shame that you can't go back through the levels because that looks exactly like a transfiguration object that that, 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 that bird. I think it's what's used for I'm Neville Longbottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't look the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Right, we're not going to do that because we are just too good. There we go. We only missed one. Well, two out of five. Meh. The lever is around here somewhere. There! I found it! Now, good job, Neville. Walks on through, no problem at all. I don't think there's anything else for us to do in this part of the game, so let's move on. And I think now we get Hedwig back. Hedwig? Hedwig back. There she is. Okay. A charge for a pendo not breaking might free Hedwig from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. Okay. So, we are going to target it this time. Flipendo! Incredible. Doors now opened up for us. And we can now walk through freely. Ah! I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Always losing his, his toad, Neville is. Always. <laughs> That is looking like a tasty broomstick, obviously. Look at that. Wow! Hedwig brought you a broomstick! I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me! Okie dokie. So this is, I think, going to be the last of the... Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madame Hooch is really strict. I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to take forever. I'll wait for you here. I think this is the last of the basics of the game, where you learn to find a broomstick. And then after this, I will be ending the episode before our first uh, actual lesson. I am Madam Hooch, your teacher. 
There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Steer your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle then. Here we go. The idea is to kind of hit as many of these as possible. Uh, to too much, but okay, from the Excellent technique. Ten house points for getting them all. The next test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, he's already messed up, hasn't he? He has already messed up. I'm not sure I get them all now, but. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Nearly kill a teacher. Be close. Be close. Well done, Potter. I shall award ten house points for that fine performance. Ready for a tougher for challenge? One. There are bonus house points for a perfect score. As before, fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. Okay, On my whistle. Right. Three, two, one. Thankfully, this is a part of the challenge, so congrats. It's a little easy. Dan Potter, a perfect score. Ten more house points for Gryffindor. Oh. You have mastered the basics of broomstick control. Now run along. That was so close. That was too close, I think. But flawless performance, that'll do. I'll take it. Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all and a teacher's pet. No, I am not. Hello, Harry. Charm's class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? Ah, uh, I don't know. Also, Hermione gets more and more Essex, or like, has like more and more of a London accent. The more into this game, we're going into the next game. Uh, which is quite funny, but also, you know, it's, it's what has the charm of the game. So we're going to collect these yellow beams going around here. And we're going to save the game because I'm going to end this episode just about here once it has saved. So thank you everyone so much for watching this episode. If you like what you saw, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.